if you really have the passion go for it do not wait for the perfect moment but just go for it So Jack and Jill was launched in 2019 and um, because I I come from Kerala in India and where jack fruit is kind of the you know the fruit that we it's like a national fruit actually so i wanted everybody to see how naturally you can have a vegetarian or a vegan alternative to your meat free days if you just want to cut down on meat i wanted to bring those curries and the keralan dishes which we have it from my grandma's recipes and i want to show everyone how naturally you know clean label the products can be running a business is never ever easy it's um, always a lonely journey i say and uh, you you think it's a straight uh, journey but it's always full of whirlwinds and ups and downs and then you go across when i started my work with um, lsbu as a lecturer and i'm doing full time my business as well the initial days was really complicated because i didn't know how to prioritize and how to manage both of them then i figured out if i mentally structure my day and mentally as well in my mind if i think okay early mornings i keep for my email checking for my nikasu or jack and chili emails and late evenings if i keep it for email checking as well if you really plan out and structure your day things can you can multitask and you can juggle you know your side hustles resilience is the biggest word i would say i have acquired over these years and especially after covid and uh, the toughest years in my life was 2020 and 2021 because i wanted to do it for jack and jill i had to find a way what to do and then i thought okay i had to start selling it out in small quantities and the other thing when i looked back when i look back now we launched our cookbook jack and jill cookbook because i had my free time i launched my youtube channel i have a facebook group where i support importers and my youtube channel has reached over 100000 views now so these are the things which i never thought would happen and i it was never in my bucket list or my or my checklist you know to have a youtube channel but on the other side covid it my business was affected but i did have these extra things related to my passion what i was doing so yeah i wear multiple hats like i'll be the marketing person one day i might be the delivery driver one day i might be the operations and i'll do the social media management social media i think is the most uncomfortable thing because it's like the i feel it's more of a teenage millennial kind of a thing and it's not for me because i had to run my own social media platforms instagram i learned how to do the you know the insta find the instagram insights in that so how to find when the followers are active and how to do the social media content and how to you know find out the influencers what is micro macro influencers how to contact them so those kind of i would say social media skills and a bit of creativity i must have improved also because i was um, doing my own accounting initially as well i learned about the sage software package i learned how to do zero software as well you know alongside and also selling how to do your cold calling to your customers what are the different type of marketing that you can do the biggest contrast i would say is for a full time job you have a guaranteed income by the end of your month <laughs> so which you don't have for your business you are your own boss and uh, you have your own flexibility around your working hours there is a lot of crossover i would say and i think it's a blessing now i feel i have this 15 years of business experience because I am so pleased to be helping out the business management students with my practical experience and I'm really proud that I have got these you know because you face a lot of challenges you face a lot of um, um, you do a lot of mistakes as well which is which doesn't come from your theoretical knowledge so that I feel I can tell them how to face these there were students who said that oh ma'am I don't think I'm going to get my internship but I was happy to help them out to find a way and navigate through what they have and then find an internship as well
you need a reason you need that passion or your fire in your belly to get back onto your feet only if you have that passion you will have that urge to get back the real pleasure to share my journey <laughs>